Well, hello my little vault cadets, and welcome back to Fallout 2. In the last video, um, you guys got to see the first of many to come death montages, kind of. Um, it's gonna happen again, and again, and again. It might even happen in this video, who knows. But, we managed to stumble across a bunch of plants that we could easily smack down, found some supplies in that house, and now we are continuing on to the east where there has to be a friendlier place than the den. Maybe. I might have made a mistake trying to come this way. Please. Civilization. This is not civilization. A band of highwaymen. And he has a very large gun. So yes, we're going to start this video off the right way, which is the way of death. Let's see. Oh. The groin. We blow his balls off. Hitting the groin for six points of damage. The pain is too much and he collapses like a rag. If I was really desperate, I could try to retreat into this cave. Oh, and she's got a gun. Does everyone have a gun out here? Everyone except Sulik? She critically misses or something? Or she shot her partner? I don't know what happened. I didn't want to do that. Why do I do stupid stuff? I wanted to aim at his balls. Blow him right off. Okay, take some healing powder, lose a little bit of perception. That's fine. Yeah. So that crushes him in the ribs for six points of damage, which is, which is not nearly enough. And we get cut. Very, very painfully. Well, we were doing the kind of good. Has claimed your life. Arroyo attempts to send out others to search for the Gek, but they die quickly, and the village soon follows. Well, isn't that depressing? Ah, oh, boy. Yes, I know. I could probably turn the difficulty down, but I'm not going to. In fact, I'm going to make a beeline for the Din this time. We might be able to make it. <laughs> Another ambush? A band of highwaymen. Um, they don't see us. They see us. Damn it. Spear, 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 gun, knife. Um, 38, 86. Go for the groin again. Yes! Critically hit for 35 points of damage. Ripping one of his testicles off and splattering it on the tent wall right there. Um, I need to move up. Yeah, that guy's got a sniper rifle that I would love to have. If we could if we could win this fight somehow. Um we could get some very good loot. So let me finish this guy off, maybe, shoot him in the head. We miss, even though we had an 87% chance, which, as most of you will know, if it's not like a hundred percent chance to hit, which it never can be. You have a good chance to miss. Oh, no. You've got a gun? I'm about to deal with all of you. 77, 71. Your closest. Your head's gonna go be gone. How am I missing? I shot Sulik on accident. Damn it. Well, thank you for pushing me forward. And Sulik, could you ever fucking attack? It would just be great grand, wonderful, if you would. Um, because I'm, we're gonna die here. Okay. Let's see. How about shoot you in the head? Critically hit for 35 points of damage. Yeah, and Sulik is completely worthless. Maybe I need to change his distance from me and make it be far away or something. Apparently telling him to be close is just too bad. Well, that was kind of going in our favor. Until the assholes with the gun Not showed up. The carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. Oh yeah? Well, we'll see about that. They're gonna get plenty more chances. Sulik, be quit being Ian 2.0. Ian, Ian, whatever. You need to be aggressive. Let me switch some of this shit up. Run away when you need a tourniquet. Yes. Distance. Um, 
on your own. Might as well. Attack. Whoever the hell you want. I don't care. Just do something. That would be great. That would be wonderful. That would make me feel like you're a worthy member of the team and I won't have to replace you the first chance I get. I'm really tempted to steal his armor right after this because he's not using it. We get ambushed again. Oh, goody. A family of radical scorpions approaches us. Let's deal with them. I want their tails. We missed. 95% chance, and yes, you guessed it. We missed. So let's be one out of every 20 shots we miss. He flattens that one into the ground. 95... I'll take the 93. There we go. In fact, after this, I'm going to conserve the rest of my ammo. Take him down, Sulik. We be shooing you away now, man. Yes. Shoo, little scorpions. Will I loot your friends' bodies here? Take that. Probably won't have enough inventory space for all of this. But whatever. Ah, oh, I was so close. Hit for five points of damage. It's good to see Sulik actually making himself useful. You know what, but that does make more sense now why he was unable to work hard enough to pay his way out of the bar. Why it was taking him so long. He's just not very useful. And yes, good job. I think he actually had to access his inventory there. Um, let's see, that would leave me enough to thrust. Duck to the side, Sulik. He ducks and we flip the scorpion over, stabbing it under its on its weak, soft underbelly. I probably had enough action points there to attack again, but whatever. I like to be dumb and waste turns. Because I'm sure it makes some of you rage out there. Raises your blood pressure. Allows me to sleep like a baby at night. Okay. What you be need? I need you to carry more of these stupid tails that weigh so much. Take that. How much does that weigh? Five pounds. And... That's actually important enough, I don't want him even thinking about holding on to it. The rope, 10 pounds, okay. What else? The shovel I'll keep, the knives I'll keep. There we go. I don't know what his max weight is, but unlike Fallout 1, there is a limit to how much stuff your companions can carry. Unless there's a trick around it that I probably don't know. I am not an expert. There's rocks back there. Ooh, wow. Five iguana on a stick. That's a hundred uh, caps right there. Some mutt fruit. I do like these random encounters that I'm actually able to survive. This crate you can search. If it looks like it has stuff... Ooh, flares. Oh, are you joking me? What you be if the crate looks like it has stuff in it, uh, little brass things... You can almost always check it. Okay, maybe... Maybe they don't have a limit. I don't know. He's carrying a shit ton of weight right now. Take the flares. And... Is there anything else around here? Just a lone shack. Some hobo shack, no, no doubt. Sulik is overloaded. Well, I'll be damned. They do have a weight limit. We need to make it to the den so I can sell some of this crap. It's going to be a while before I level up again. Oh, boy. Sulik, I could take the armor off your hands. If you're that overloaded. I wouldn't want him stressing himself out. We arrive at the break of dawn. Let me go ahead and get rid of my weapons. So, we see an addict at the gates. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting wabbits. He's seeing shit too. The Den Bulletin. Maintained by Rebecca's Casino Bar. Best drinks in the goddamn den. 
I believe it. Someone has scribbled something. Becky's a whore, and her drinks is watered down. She's a crook and a leer. The writing is barely legible. The Slaver's Guild? The Slaver's Guild is the best and only supplier of slaves in the wastes. For employment opportunities, buying or selling of slaves, see Slave Master Metzger. Let's see, special note, they are currently not selling slaves to the general public due to increased demand. Where are they at? The Slaver's Guild is located to the east side of town, past Becky's and Frankie's. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to head there yet. Primarily because I don't know how Sulik is going to react. Let's see, bars and gambling. Two are listed. Rebecca's Casino Bar has both gambling and great drinks. We are located just east of here. We are the first building on the left as you enter town. Be sure to come by and say hello. Wait, my left or my character's left? My character's left, obviously. Frankie's. Frankie runs a bar and and pleasure business on the east side of town. Fine dining. Mom's is the only restaurant in the den. She's located on the east side of town, just south of the Slaver's Guild. And shops. There are three. Tubby's. Tubby sells all sorts of items, but primarily drugs and ammo. We got Flix. Flix sells various items out of his office in the residential building directly south from here and right below Rebecca's Casino Bar. And Smitty. Smitty is the local mechanic. He sometimes has things for sale. Occasionally. Okay. I gotta check this one more time make sure that's all there is. It is. I don't, just let me exit. I'm done reading that bullcrap. So, there's a knife here, apparently. Yeah, I can't imagine anyone ever seeing this shit without item highlighting. Okay, so this is Becky's casino. Sulik is overloaded, so he's going to be really slow. We need to just get rid of some of this stuff. Where's Becky at? That's got to be her. Hi there, I'm Rebecca. Can I get you something to drink? I'm sure you're thirsty after your trip to the wastes. Let's just see what you've got for sale. A knife and a flower. Maybe I need to trade here. Do you have any work? I'm looking, I need a drink. Bye. Apparently that's not where I wanted to go. Where is, is it in here? Hey kid, what is this place? Flakes, huh? <laughs> Can you help a poor man down on his luck? Sure, here's five. Thanks so much. I'm a nice guy. Sometimes it pays to be nice when you're new in town, too. So where's Flick at? Gonna make it big, pretend you don't see me. Is this really Flick's? Is this Flick? Hi, Dare. I'm Flick. What the fuck do you want, huh? Um, I'd like to trade with you. I don't want to piss him off either. Shotgun ammo, a shotgun. Okay, I need that. 171. You know what? Take all my damn geckos. Take... Actually, I better keep my combat knife. I might actually end up using that. The flares. Take that. I want this. Half tempted to buy that jet. How much for the shotgun? <laughs> no. That is a little bit too much. Okay. And that'll have to do, apparently. I wanted to get rid of more heavy things. Actually, I'd like to ask you a question. Now what? You're wasting my time, hey? Uh, what the hell do you do here? I'm a fucking provider. What do you think? I'm like a good Samaritan... Samurai guy. Yeah, whatever. I'm not going to really sit around and talk to him. Might end up pissing him off. See the mysterious mummy. <laughs> Fucking, I remember that one. That looks a little bit familiar. An educational opportunity of a lifetime. That place I don't want to go into just yet. I do remember that too. Mysteries of the Netherworld Revealed. What is this? A diary. You know what? I better just read that from my inventory. 
It appears to be a diary which belonged to a young girl. The writing on the inside cover says, Property of Anna. Most of the pages are either torn or faded, but one is still readable. Day 271. Today my mother gave me a gold locket. It is the most beautiful thing I have ever owned. I will never part with it. Hmm. Is that so? Well then, maybe we can find it. Can I go through this door? No, it's locked. If we want to get in here, we have to pay the entrance fee, I think. See the mysterious mummy. I don't want to see the mummy yet. Rest assured, I will. Let's go see Tubbs here. I've got to get rid of some of these items. I can't be a, a hoarder in this game, unfortunately. Are you who I need to talk to? Hello, sir, and welcome to Tubby's. I am the proprietor. May I help you? Yes, you may. Maybe. Ooh, nice. Guns. Ant armor. 72 more bullets. Wow, 642? He's a pretty damn expensive. Okay. I gotta part with some of this stuff, then. The jerky. How much would that go for? Only 20? I think I'll keep it. How much does it weigh? I think it weighs one pound a piece, so I don't know. Some charred meat. There might be a use for that. 16. Let me get rid of these. It's weighing me down. Booze. Get out of here. Beer. You're gone. Tragic cards I will keep. All these regular knives. I don't have nearly as much stuff as I had thought. Because most of it's on Sulik, I think. Okay, so... What if... How many of these can I buy then? Wait, how much are you selling that for? 714? Forget it. I'll end up looting some eventually. I can only buy them in stacks of 24. That sucks. Mm. Oh boy. I guess I'll pay some. How's that? It's a good trade? That's what I thought. Sulik! Where you at, Sulik? He's being stupid and overloaded somewhere. Sulik. Sulik, did you just bust into that place without paying? Actually, maybe... Maybe we can go through that front door without paying, but we actually have to see... We have to pay to see inside. I don't know. I'll be going in there soon. 164. Can I take this much weight? No. So, keep the pelts. 164. God damn it. 152. Come on, I know I can carry that much. Take the crowbar. I'm not giving you the Nuka-Cola, because you'll drink it all. Take... All of that, that's probably... That's a lot of weight. Six pieces of jerky. Yeah, they're one pound a piece. Are you joking me? God damn it. I should have taken higher strength. Come on. There we go. And you better not be overloaded now, Sulik. Can you follow me, or are you going to keep being stupid and trying to go through there? He's, he's tempting me. He's pushing my limits of tolerance. As much as I like Grampy Bone, I do not like followers in these games. So let's see, that's worth 40. So these tails basically are really not worth me even messing with. I should just save myself the trouble of having to do this inventory crap. Let's see. That'd be 214. My math skills are not that good. Blah, blah, blah. I think I need 19. Yeah. Sometimes I'm going to mess that up and embarrass myself, but whatever. I'm not good with math. What you be need? I've made mention of that before, even something simple. Like adding and subtracting, or basic multiplication. 
can kick my ass, apparently. 76. That should be enough, maybe, for the rest of this ammo. Or maybe even to get a few of my caps back, I don't know. Let's trade, buddy. Um... 50, 170, 200, 140 ammo is all I've got. 200. Take that. How much for one jet? 253. Damn, that stuff's not worth that. No way. I shouldn't even do this. I should just go for the ammo. Leave him his caps. And then I'm going to be set on ammo for quite some time. There we go. Fair trade, right? That's what I thought. Unfortunately, this ammo is not all that great, as you've seen. Unless the person is basically naked. Um, let's save over this one. This will be Den 30. Because who knows what's going to happen. We're going to go speak to Becky, though. What do we have here? Money, money, money. Place your bets. We have another roller. Points on zero on four of blah, blah, blah. Sorry. I don't gamble. Do you know why I don't gamble? Because my gambling is negative five. I will never win. Gambling is completely based on your luck and your gambling skill. Why, hello. Nice to see a new face around here. My name's Leanne. How are you? Care to sit down? Sure. How are you doing? Oh, very good. Thanks for asking. Becky has such an interesting family history. Do you have one yourself? Um... <laughs> yes, I am the chosen one. The plump one, you might even say. My ancestors saved the world from one called the Master. Um... I'll just say, I'm not going to say I'm the chosen one. We'll just say that my ancestor supposedly saved the world from someone called the, the Master. How interesting. That reminds me of a story I heard a long time ago. Something about a Master. Really? Seriously? You, you've heard about the Master? Tell me. Well, this might take a bit. Why don't you be a gentleman and buy me a drink, wouldn't you? Not whiskey, though. Nuka cola Sure, even though I've got Nuka Cola, if you were real thirsty. Thanks. Now, let's see. I remember my mom telling me about this huge migration that happened 70, or was it 80 years ago? Really big mutants with weapons as tall as you and me came from the south. Mom said it looked like a big migration of some sort. Any idea how many? Don't know, but there were multiple groups of them. Some would continue north, others headed east. No one knew where they were going. Go on. Well, they were quite upset and seemed to be fleeing from something. You don't say. Yeah, there were also others in dirty, tattered, purple robes. They kept babbling about how the master was dead. Huh. Some of them even committed suicide right here in town. And? Well, don't you see? They were talking about the master, the one your ancestor killed. Well, thanks for the story. My pleasure. Bye. 350 experience for listening to the story. Not too bad. So, I'm looking for a, ver a merchant named Vic. Yeah, I know Vic. Metzger's got him locked up. I'm not sure why, though. Okay, that's good. You have any work? Well, Fred owes me 200. If you can collect it somehow, we'll work something out. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's the catch? Catch? Uh, well, if you knew Fred, you'd understand. He's owed me the money for quite a long time. I'd written it off as a loss. But if you can get it back, I'd be amazed and grateful. He's somewhere in town, I'm sure. I'll see what I can do. So, it's not too bad. Where are you at, Fred? Oh, Freddy Fred. If I was a dude named Fred, hey... How the hell? That just blends in. You can't even see it. Another shovel. Which is good to have, and you guys will be finding out why soon enough. Okay. Let's talk to this guy and see if we can see a Jan Yuan Mummy. Hello and welcome. Salutations. 
I am the great Ananias. I bring mysteries from near and far, friend. Mysteries from a world beyond our own. Of the netherworld. Uh, what kind of mysteries? I know things that mere mortal man is not meant to know. I And I are loth. Oh, sorry. Got a little carried away there for a moment. I have tales of a ghost that haunts these very grounds, as well as a genuine Egyptian mummy that you can see right here in this marvelous sarcophagus. Hmm. Well, I'm just dying to see... Wait, no, I want to hear the ghost story first. Do I get a cup of cocoa with it? Well, you see... There was once a great queen that ruled all of the surrounding town. She kept her throne by virtue of a special amulet that she kept around her neck at all times. Great stuff, huh? Um, yeah, you bet. So this princess had a magic amulet. Oh, do go on. I just can't stand this level of suspense much, much longer. Well, I'll cut to the chase then. So the evil wizard poisoned the young princess and took her amulet. She's been wandering around to the room next door ever since. Well, uh, that is, just at the witching hour anyway. That's why I keep the door locked. Pretty darn scary, huh? Wait, the ghost of an amuletless princess in the trashed room next door? That's it? I can't believe you're peddling that as a story. I'd rather hear about this stupid mummy that you're supposed to have, as ridiculous as it all sounds. No, my friend, a mummy! straight from the sands of ancient Egypt to the sands of the wastes, exclusively for you to see. <sighs> okay, how much is it going to cost me? Well, for a person of your obvious class, I'd be happy to show this unique and historic specimen to you for a mere 25 caps. I'll cough up the dough. Simply open the sarcophagus lid, and the marvelous mummy will be revealed in all its ancient glory to you, friend. But please, no touching, and, uh, no flash photography? Okay. There you go! The mummy! The door to the sarcophagus swings open to reveal a desiccated corpse that looks very much like an ordinary ghoul standing in a poorly painted, chipped, and cracked paper mache sarcophagus. What? That's a mummy? I can't believe I just paid $25 to see a six-foot hunk of jerky. Goodbye. Um, yeah. So there's a ghoul in there. I think it's hilarious. Worth 25 caps. And, um, let's talk to this guy here. A man in metal armor. Hello, plump one. I'm Joshua. What can I do for you? How, how do you know my name? Your recent activities have drawn attention to you. People talk and people listen, and word gets around. You need to remember that you are only one small fish in an ocean of sharks, plump one. And what do you mean by that? Let's just say that you're the new kid on the block, and you don't know what's going on in the neighborhood. There's a lot more going on than your simple quest. Go on. You've got my attention. I've said enough for now. I just think you should get about your business. Wait! Answer some questions. Alright. You're allowed one question. What will it be? Hmm. Very interesting. We could ask about the Gek, but that's almost too obvious. We could ask about Vault 13, or we could ask about Vic, but we already know where Vic is. He's over at, uh, Metzger's. Let's ask about Vault 13. I've heard plenty of tales about Vault 13, and none of them speak of its whereabouts. Good luck, plump one. Damn it. Okay. Let me see what I can steal from this guy. Nothing. Dang it. We can't go in here, it's locked. I'm not even gonna bother to try. It would just end in failure. Can't pick the lock either. Not even gonna try. So I think I'll end the video here. Whenever we come back, we're going to continue exploring the den and eventually get ourselves killed.